Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today, tips and tricks, it's about uh, excavation tool. Excavation tool is a new feature that's come with Revit 2025. Let's see how it's work. I have here this uh, file open and uh, if I go to 3D, it's really a simple uh, topo solid. And I put this uh, element here. This is uh, a floor element and this one is a roof element and this one is a wall and we will see how it's work now i go in level one before uh, 2025 we use in uh, uh, in the river 2024 and prior we use uh, uh, a tool in here it's a cut and if for example if i go to this uh, section in here and I go, I want to subtract or excavate uh, here uh, this uh, wall from the topo solid. What I do, I go to cut in here and I select the topo solid and I select my wall in here. And if you see here, I have this excavation here. I can do it also uh, with the foundation. I, sorry, I go back to cut and select that and now I have this excavation. If I go like in here, you see it clear in here. That's before. Now we have excavation tool. Let's go back in, uh, in uh, this mode and wireframe mode. And you see here, I have here my floor and I have here my roof. Let's see how it's work. First of all, you need uh, to select the topo solid. Let's uh, click on modify a couple of times. And now I select this mode shade and to, to see clear in here. And I have a floor here. And now if I want to apply the excavation tool, I must select first. This is the trick. Select first the topo solid. And now we have in this panel topo solid shaping and this is the excavation tool. I click on this little arrow in here and I have excavation tool and we have remove excavation. We see both of them. Let's, let's see uh, excavation tool and I want to do excavation with this uh, uh, floor here. I just click that simple and you see here I have my excavation. Let's see in a 3D in here and if I go in visibility graphic and I go to floor and I just hide the floor and you see I have a nice excavation in here and you can apply it also with the roof let's see how it's work I select first the top of solid and I go to excavation and I select my roof and you see <coughs> sorry I have this excavation now, if I go to Vivi and I go to uh, uh, roof and I select my roof in here. Where is my roof? And you see, I have this nice excavation in here. And this is my excavation in here. Now I wanted to try it with the uh, wall uh, category. If I go in back in here in architecture and I go to wall in here and I select uh, a generic wall in here and now I draw a wall in here and click on modify a couple of time. Now I go to select this section. Let's uh, do a section here and switch it back in this uh, here and now i have here my wall let's extend my wall a little bit like that now if i go back uh, here in my topo uh, subtract in here or excavation and i want to select my wall it doesn't work with with the wall and let's let's do it again select my topo excavation and 
doesn't work with my wallet. That's uh, some limitation. I just want you to be aware with that. I invite you to explore with the other category, but always get back to modify and select the cut here, geometry, select first your topo solid and subtract. Now, if I go to wall in my uh, visibility graphic, you see I have excavation. I hope you uh, understand the excavation tool. And before uh, get uh, before finish this video, I just want you to see how you can remove excavation. For example, let's get back my category floor and roof. And if you don't want to have the the excavation, you can select again and remove excavation and select here, and you can remove the excavation. This is a warning don't worry about that just uh, tell you you your roof overlap with the excavation you can ignore that i hope this video helped you to understand how to add excavation in your site and if you have any question just put it in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel that's help us to make more videos